Hello there, Saka. Coming to you from my place to yours. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this uh, next portion of the video here. The uh, we're prepping uh, this log here. I went ahead and I fastened it up this way, fastened it this way, had my center line drawn out. Now I have a face I'm gonna have from here on down, and the nose is the widest part flat that sticks out the furthest that's going to be right around in here somewhere so I've got like a three inch swath here from the center line the center line here inch and a half out this way and inch and a half that way for three and so I'm going to go ahead and make another facet line so I drew these lines that are going to come down at an angle just like this is so I dropped this down this stopped here now I'm coming down here and I've taken it up to this spot right there so in order to do that, I'm going to come up here with the lip ads that I used the other day because this, this is a great tool. So in the beginning stages, roughing stuff out, doing different things like that, uh, the lip ads works good for that. Once I'm done doing all this with this tool, then I'll... I'll um, incorporate other ads but right now I'm doing this uh, faceting using the lip ads so I mean what I'm doing is I'm establishing my angle here actually I'm going to come out here and I'm going to remove some of this wood that I know is going to have to come off and I have a line drawn here and then I'm going to come up to maybe right here and stop I'm not going to I'm not going to carry this angle all the way out here because I'm going to use this for something else but right now I'm going to do this now as in the other video that I did um, I'm using the whole width of the blade because I'm just removing and hogging out a lot of this wood that doesn't belong here. Well, I shouldn't say belong here, but I'm removing because eventually it's going to get all carved down and shaped. So this is just a part of that process. This punky part on top here is uh, the cambium layer. The, the wider, lighter color versus the darker red, the, the red cedar that you're normally used to seeing. And this is funky up here, so it's a, it's a more fibery type of uh, consistency that it has. I'm doing is is keeping the ads close to my body so when I'm when I'm removing the wood and swinging the ads I'm keeping my elbow closer towards me than away that way I have better control of it and it's just better for your um, on your on your joints and everything else from the, the pounding it's, it's not as harsh on you so I'm gonna come over here see if I can take a look because I got Oh, getting close. back up to that fibery spot that's kind of 
of interesting how the blade bounces and stuff through this. It's just a, it's just a, it's not harder, just more, just a strange texture. It just doesn't, it's not, doesn't cut through as nicely as, like you can see right here where I'm cutting through this. It's nice and smooth and. The other thing that lends itself to that really nicely is there's still a fair amount of moisture in this log here. If it was real dry and been sitting around for quite a long time and devoid of moisture, then it would be um, a real tough thing to cut through. I'd be um, sharpening the blade, probably adding water, um, making it easier, more pliable to work with. Pliable, interesting word, right? It's not pliable, it will just soften up the fibers a bit to make it where it's not as hard on your tools. Okay, nice, I like that. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is that like this line comes all the way out here, I'm gonna find a stopping point and um, cause there's gonna be a face down here. And then I have some other stuff that's gonna go up here, which is gonna be cool. But I'll, bring, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So what am I gonna be doing from here? I'm gonna cut this up to here, get this side established. Then go over to this side and do the same thing there. Bring it up to here. Then at that point, um, I'll, I'll make a decision after that. I just know that I'll take a look at this and see how it lends for what I want to do. But there's a lot of material in here for me to carve. And so I'm looking forward to that. But I just wanted to get um, some of this stuff documented. I'll put it on video. So you can see kind of like the step-by-step -step in a sense and um, of how, how I go about prepping uh, a log for carving. It doesn't matter, even if this was uh, 15, 20 feet long, I'd be doing the same process. I may not be doing, i probably use other tools as well, but this is kind of like the same principle that I'd go through. And it's called faceting it, prepping it. Some people don't, but, but I do. So anyways, yeah, Kwasuchin Satsu, have a great day. I'll talk to you later.